Hi folks, Flying Doctor here. When I started this video, I was full of optimism about the possible uh, being able to combine X-Plane 11 scenery in the form of Orbix with X-Plane 12. And the way we'd usually incorporate sceneries is, of course, if you've got large scenery file sizes, put them on a separate drive, uh, work with a shortcut, link them to uh, X-Plane externally. And I thought, well, there's no much, not much difference with X-Plane 12. And that was confirmed looking at a couple of videos. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint folks. Just, um, just from my experience in my system, I've come across big problems. Uh, the main thing I've come across is firstly, the sceneries don't work, whichever way I order the custom sceneries uh, files uh, in the in the in the scenery.ini file, whichever way I order things, um, it don't I get varying results, but I don't get anything. I get a hybrid that's nothing like um, Orbix, and uh, secondly, I get a degrade de degradation in performance. So for the moment, I wish I could say, oh yeah, it's all going to work fabulously. As I start out optimistically in this video, as we come to the end of it, uh, no. Uh, it wasn't working very well at all. So we'll have to wait around for X-Plane 12 and Orbix to come to us and say, yes, this will work. So that's the way it is, folks. Um, mixed experiences. You can go along, have a look at the video. I've uh, edited it a little bit. Uh, it's great to be able to share with you, but some things in life just don't work out. Hopefully, we'll see some improvement in this area. But it's a well-worked-out example of um, working through an issue and, unfortunately, getting nowhere. If you're a keen user of X-Plane 11, you may well be familiar with the simple principle of creating a shortcut from where your sceneries are and then linking it into the custom scenery involder in X-Plane itself. So you hold the excess sceneries because they're such big file sizes on a different drive. If you need reminding where your files are, if you click on the settings icon, uh, you can then move to libraries and, oh look, my X-Plane libraries are actually in the X drive that I created. So let's just remind ourselves about X-Plane 12. First, it comes downloaded. Unlike Microsoft Flight Simulator, the beauty in X-Plane 12 is it comes and it's downloaded as a folder. If you can just click on that folder there, uh, you can see all of your structures and folders within. And uh, what we're looking to do is to put our scenery in this folder called Custom Scenery Folder. So I'm not particularly proud of this. This is like somebody looking into my room and just seeing how dirty I live. Anyway, uh, there's my X, XP scenery X, SSD X drive. So I double click on that. But I can see Orbix Central Library there. And I double click on that. And then I've got two libraries there. This is working with Orbix XP11. And there they are. So these are my add-ons that I previously purchased that we really don't want to lose. OK, so what are the things to remember? Well, I'm testing things out, so I'm only copying across what I kind of need in order to test. And uh, there's a couple of things that I would say. Firstly, I've gone for the True Earth Great Britain Central, North and South to see what we can do there. I'm also spotting it may well be helpful to put Orbix libraries in there because Orbix will refer to its own files for its scenery. So yeah, Orbix libraries need to be in there. Um, in terms of making shortcuts, it really is pretty straightforward. There's the easiest way to do it if you're new to this is just to make a shortcut. And if you're watching this, my guess is that you'll easily be able to do it. So for example, if I wanted to make a shortcut to Shoreham, just do two things. Firstly, make sure that I double click on it that you're actually making a shortcut to the root folder. In other words, immediately under here are all the folders that have the custom scenery. And there they are there. I say that because sometimes you can have a folder within the folder and best to play it safe. Right click. Uh, here I'm working in Windows 11. Uh, show more options if I click here. And then I can do one of two things. Now I use a two different programs. One is I just can simply create a shortcut and that will come down there and then I can I can copy this. Uh, I can well cut it uh, and then I can move across back to my X plane folder which I know is in my C drive this PC. There we are let's find the C drive and then the X plane 12 folder there and then the custom scenery folder there and then I right click and I've got a little paste icon. Obviously, I'm using Windows 11. I've actually added, there we are, there's our link. And if we double click on that, uh, we go back to the original 
uh, folder. So we're we've clicked with our we've linked with our Orbix there. I'll keep that as a straight example. But the one thing that I would also say is I've done the same with um, Orbix libraries. And the one thing that I would say about the True Earth packs is that you need to click on these, and you will find that within the custom scenery there are three folders. Now I've copied these direct, rather than copying the scenery, this just the uh, um, the True Earth Great Britain Central Scenery whole folder. Go into the root folder into the custom scenery and then if I were to click on each one of these this is where I see um, the detail so it's the, the those three within the custom scenery folder of what I've copied across so starting up x-plane now come on there we are and there we are there's our x-plane uh, and it started very quickly, in fact. Gosh, see how quick that is. I've been saying how quickly the startups are. Now, the main thing is you could try it now, but we'll see. I suspect we might have some problems. I'm going to go and uh, start new flight. I'm going to go to London. I'm going to go to Edinburgh. Uh, so, yes, here it is. So I've made a link here to Edinburgh. Let me I'll just double click that, check that's there. So that should be loaded in already. But we'll just have a check and have a look at the scenery around, shall we? But we're just going to go out of the cockpit and have a quick peek around. Uh, Edinburgh's got a particular um, a control tower that's really impressive. And so I just want to see, you know, have I actually got Edinburgh Airport loaded up? And the long and short of it is that I'm not convinced. Talking about the airport first, this does not look like an Orbix quality airport. It looks like a mismatch, in fact. It looks like even pr previous to X-Plane um, 11, uh, I'm seeing some odd place buildings. There is uh, also um, pictures of the, of the kind of land inserted in. There's no control tower here. And in terms of the textures, the textures are pretty terrible looking down. The one thing you do have is you have this uh, runway that's X-Plane 11 runway with all the textures in it. Again, to the side here, it's curious because this looks like, um, obviously, kind of uh, photographic satellite imagery, but with no uh, buildings generated over the top of it. And the autogen over here just looks very normal, really. So uh, not quite sure what's going on there. We're going to have a look under the hood. It enables me to illustrate a couple of things. I suspect it's to do with the order of the scenery and the scenery packs. Bear with me. So back into the X-Plane uh, 12 scenery folder. There's our scenery pack. It's a little um, file here. And double click on that and we shall get a list of the sceneries as installed. Now, the first thing I can see is that uh, we've got global airports at the bottom, then we've got a range of other airports, and then we've got our sceneries, um, uh, our ABC, uh, our, our Orbix sceneries uh, above uh, that. So I think these all need to come down to the bottom. Um, I'm not sure if they all do, but I've seen this, and this was originally an issue with um, Orbix. Then I'm just deleting that gap there. And let's have a look and see what we've got. We've got some libraries there, and we've got Edinburgh Airport. Now, interestingly, the ah, that's that's interesting because I would be putting the airport on top of the scenery packs. So this is just like a text file. If you've not come across this before, it looks all scary, but it's all right. There we go. I'll paste that one in there. Don't forget, you can do Control C and Control V if you want to and uh, put our airport there again I'm, I can right click and copy that uh, so I'll cut it and move it to the top so I'm lifting the airports up to the top because they form the final layer and then the lower layers the ABC's uh, here are um, you've got true earth custom sceneries so I do think you know you're going to plot you get the the bases aren't over. The bases are overwritten by what's on the top. So I'd be interested in London City Airport or London, whether London, how London sits across True Earth. But Orbix, uh, one of the things was with the True Earths, 
uh, to get the scenery packs at the bottom rather than the top and that affects the the way it's like a layers of a tran of a kind of acetate sheet in those old days you know sitting on top of each other so we'll have a look there there's a library folder there i think i'm going to put that i mean that doesn't actually that's neither here nor there really is it it doesn't but i will put it at the bottom so they get loaded anyway right okay so i'm just going to save that you don't need to save it as anything else just save that then we're going to load the sim again then we're going to see what difference that makes there we go so we're loading now it's just still loading the aircraft at the moment and i'll let you know where we get to i'm actually loading into a different airport first and i'm going to jump back across to edinburgh to make sure things are refreshed so yeah just making sure that i'm flushing all of the um i don't know whether you need to do this or not but it sounds good go, go to another airport and then go back to edinburgh so we can load in uh edinburgh scenery fresh so okay so here we are at edinburgh with the scenery order change and you can see an immediate difference here certainly in the textures here i don't know whether the textures that are laid out down here and the sims just frozen <laughs> I don't know whether the textures that are laid out down here are um, X-plane textures or Orbix textures. I think they're Orbix textures. Uh, there's a lot more detail here. There's the control tower that I was reminding you of that's, that's there. It's definitely an Orbix feature. But it's interesting. I have got an interesting mix. I think it is working. Again, this is looking very smudgy down here, isn't it? But we've got some definitely some of the Orbix scenery in terms of cars. Uh, we can also see the correct placement of the aircraft relative to buildings as well. Uh, so, but I'm experiencing some frame rate difficulties. It could just be the aircraft that I'm in uh, for the moment. I'm intrigued just to look and see what this looks like because we did have good night lighting with Orbix. So we'll just see. So this is at night. So we have got some of X Plane's excellent lighting incorporated. I think here when I was looking back before at X Plane's lighting, but we're not getting here is you know the additional effects that i'm pretty sure were there on the orbic scenery so the jury's very much out on this one and so you can see here i'm back in my familiar g1000 cessna 172 and yeah i'm getting similar problems here whatever i've managed to do i've got the I've got lots of delay which is meaning that i'm getting lag with the mouse so something's going on here this is not working as things stand in the scenery packs we'll have a look again and see if we can resolve stuff but what we should have here is uh, is Orbix True Earth Central, South and North and we should be able to take a look at it. Is that improving now? It's a little bit of an improvement in fact it's quite an improvement could put that other one down to the aircraft, I don't know uh, but we're going to go up and free camera this and have a look around ok well it's definitely smoother but there's no way that that looks to me like Orbix Earth. It looks to me like if because we haven't got the airport loaded that um, these are the textures that are coming naturally or would usually come naturally with X Plane 12 for the grass. And there is more variety there and there are different uh, uh, trees. Uh, but yeah, this is looking very flat and unconvincing. I'm, I'm not really convinced. So this is not working out well for me at the moment. I know that there are other videos there saying that this works, but it's not working for me. And so I'm going to have another look at that scenery file and see if uh, we can play about and see where we're at on it. Let's just focus on the true earth to start off with. OK, so I had a look at my um, scenery pack and the INI file to see about the order of things. I've seen other people do this and it's worked perfectly fine, but I'm just going to play and see what's possible. I don't know whether I'm being too harsh on the GB central scenery, but certainly the rendering of you know Canary Wharf looks absolutely terrible. Um, but let's have a look at this first. So I've got my scenery packs here, and then I found a really uh, helpful uh, sort of reminder on AV Sim of how the order should go. So we're going to do something different here. So it's saying mesh and photo scenes at the bottom, they block everything out, then overlay, then airports. So if we do that, and, and there's an example of where a library is. I mean, I'm not sure where the library goes, but we'll wonder about that later. Let's have a look. Where's a library here? Well, the library fits in with the in the mid uh, tier, I think. Um, anyway, we'll we'll just have a go at this. Um, I can't imagine a library getting in the way unless it's. But um, anyway, right, okay. 
let's have a look. So we want ortho sceneries and photos. So ortho are photo scenes. You want them on the bottom. Okay, and then uh, then overlay on top of the ortho. So let's have a look. So put that there. Let's pick up. So our, that's right. Our orthos are there, and there's another ortho there. So we didn't need to do that. We could have made the divine there. That's all all right. Can't see a problem with that. As an ortho layer here. So let's cut that and paste that there. Uh, is there another ortho? No, there's no other ortho there. Uh, and then overlays. So we all of that. So overlays are there. So over, overlay, overlay, overlay. Airports. Well, if we're being honest about it, and airports come at the top. Cut that and put that in at the top. There we go. And uh, let's see what we've got there. We've got custom scenery there. And not quite sure what that custom scenery is tree lines i think that's right that would equate to overlay sceneries really custom objects past sceneries i'm not sure but but basically we've got that and that sits on top of the authors it was before there was only an auth one ortho out of order um so we've got all our a's all our b's all our c's all our d's that could be it global airports i'm going to stick the libraries above global airports just because i reckon that the libraries aren't going to get in the way anyway uh, but we will uh, pop that there using uh, cut and then on the mouse and then control and V to paste. Then we've got our airports up here uh, and we've got a uh, true earth airports. Okay, so I'm not sure whether we've got. Okay, so in other words, if we put the. Uh, True Earth custom there. If these are custom objects, uh, they A was always above the custom objects anyway. So the objects come, then the airports. We've not left anything by separating them, unless there's something massive in between. Uh, let's just work with. Um, I'm not quite sure about X Orbic Central XP11 EZ on Brighton Airport. We'll take that out and go back. Just, just taking it out because something didn't seem right about that. Anyway, okay. Right, okay, so I'm going to save that now. We'll just have a look and see if that makes any difference and restart the sim. Okay, file, save. There we are. That's saved. Here we go again. That was very, very quick. We'll just load in. As a new flight will load London City, and I'm going to go and do what I did before and go back to another airport and then make sure they're loaded in fresh. Now, I don't want to be asked that again. I know that there's a joystick. There we are. Right, hang on a sec. So, interesting, reassuring. Elsewhere in the world, I've got three dimensional trees, variety in the trees as well. Just want to go out and have a look. View, external, three camera. Let's just have a look. Yes, so kind of improvements. Vegetation's different there. Obviously, this is just one small airport. I don't even know where I am, I'm entirely honest with you, but it seems to be running that well. Okay, so I'm going to now jump back. And the first thing I've got, I've gone back, so we've not got airport. This is just stock London City Airport. I've gone back into the simulator. I'm in a familiar aircraft. And it wouldn't usually generate any problems to me. Still experiencing massive fluctuations in frame rate here. So not convinced by this. We will try and go out. Actually, that's just come up as a bit more stable after a while. Perhaps it's taken a while to get the systems working. And um, let's just have a look. Well, we're just frozen again there as well. Four frames per second. So something is not going right here. Usually with the scenery with X-Plane 11, you get it wrong and you you just won't see things. You wouldn't see a degradation in performance like this. Uh, so let's just have a look around and just see if we do, in theory, have any different any any differences here. We do seem to have more objects, but I don't know. I didn't see the windmills before as much. Generally, not seeing huge, huge, significant change. Although I don't remember 
around London being particularly impressed uh, by Great Britain South. Well, it was, it was a change on what X-Plane were producing already, but of course I've got Flight Simulator in my mind. And again, the resolution of these textures is pretty poor. Uh, so, unconvinced thus far, let's have a look and jump across to uh, an airport. Okay, so similar problem here, getting massive drops in frame rate. Uh, I'm not quite sure. We'll have a look around and see what we uh, can see. Whether we see any changes? There's one more fix, one more variation that I can try. See how, how sluggish things are. Look at that! It's terrible. So. The airport actually looks a little bit better. And the textures look a bit I want to see whether I've got uh, night lighting as well at the airport. So let's just check that and see what the night lighting looks like. Non existent there. <laughs> let's just try it a bit darker. So yeah, we're not getting, this is not what I remember of the Orbix airport, we're not getting it in full. So it's not quite the merging of at the moment, True Earth is not working, it's causing, even if it is there, it's causing big problems with, uh, uh, with the efficiency of the sim. And then in that airport, certainly there's some, you get the feel that you're getting an Orbix airport, but then there's some key features that are not there. But the True Earth actually otherwise seems to be showing through. I don't like the autogen there, but the True Earth uh, seems to be definitely um, showing. Here we are, big delay there. There's one more thing that I'm going to try, and that was um, looking at Gripper Sim. He actually put all of his ABCs right at the top before he got to additional aircraft. We'll go back and we'll try that. Okay, and finally, Gripper Sim, we've reordered this, but Gripper Sim was saying that uh, he put his at the top and it worked. This is ages ago when we had problems with the Orbix uh, scene when it was first produced. He put them at the top above all the standard airports and below all of any of the additional airports uh, that were coming. Um, but our airport is Edinburgh, uh, but it makes sense to drop this one down and keep the scenery packed together. So there we are, cut that, put that on there. Oh, I'll tidy it up in a second. Add the packs together. Paste those, reduce them down. Libraries are above global, are below global airports. We'll put the libraries as an addition above the just at the bottom of Orbix and above the airport see if that works so we have airports then we have Edinburgh Airport above okay so that's my new list try that see if that works there we go that's saved so we'll load X-Plane again quick load once again a uh, new flight uh, will go for Edinburgh. Let's have a look at London City and if that have a whether we get an improvement in performance there first. There we go. Now this is looking a bit more improved. He just said that, although there was just a dip there. So we're still getting these frame rate dips. A bit disappointing. I've given it about 30 40 seconds, things have improved a little bit. Let's have a big wheel around, there we are. Let's just have a look outside. Obviously, a bit smoother, textures pretty poor. We've lost those by the side of the runway. Struggling to load this at the moment. So the 
long and short of this is that it's not playing well. I'm going to go back now, see what happens around Edinburgh. And I'm not really seeing any great enhancement. This isn't persuading me to look at Orbix products. I'm sure Orbix wouldn't want this as well. So I'm going to have another look and briefly going to reload at Edinburgh as a final uh, hurrah. And I wish I had amazing news for you, but I do not. Despite what other people have been able to do, I think, and this is a bit more complex because we're looking at multi-layer products, scenery products produced by Orbix. We are, I'm, I'm having serious difficulty with compatibility. Um, so uh, for the moment, I, I'm not at all confident putting uh, Orbix products and playing about in this way. Uh, I had set out and I was reasonably confident we might be able to do something just trying to drop up into public camera here so this is our ordering here now what we've done is um, we have got Edinburgh Airport right at the top um, and uh, that is not what Edinburgh or put or airport should uh, look like at all um, so we've tried a whole various combinations and they've not none of them have really produced results we've also Perhaps more worryingly, well, we did find we put them at the bottom. We've got a lot more scenery around here, didn't we? Um, but more worryingly, we're getting uh, a kind of frame rate drop uh, in uh, when in some of the combinations that we've seen. So um, it's just the way it is, folks. I wish that I had some good news. I think it is a contribution to the community to say, well, it's working for some other people. It's not working for me. If anyone wants to sort of say, oh, well, you've done this wrong or this wrong, then do let me know. But this is a fairly simple setup. You know, we've not got any other scenery packs in here. And uh, so, yeah, take care, folks. Stay safe. Looks like we're going to have to wait for a bit more advice from X-Plane 12 and Orbix about compatibility.